G'day one and all, I'm Southpaw Racer. It's time to go up and then down. The Australian Turbo Touring Car Series heads to Laguna Seca for the fourth round of six in season one. After last round at Okayama, I sit seventh in the driver's standings. But before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. This video would have come out yesterday, but there was a really cool opportunity I had to take advantage of. See, I help to produce and present a radio show here in Perth by the name of Talking Motorsport. On our first show of the year, we interviewed one of the co-founders of Gemtech, a company that promotes electric motoring, provides products and services to assist owners of electric vehicles, and competes in Targa rallies with EVs. They invited us out to a rally sprint at the Perth Motorplex, and myself and Paul, the showrunner, got to have a ride in a Tesla Model 3 at speed, which was crazy fun. We documented it, we had a chat with the crew, our video on this event is coming out within the next few weeks, so like Talking Motorsport on Facebook to stay tuned for that. Also, I've got a video coming out soon on Lime Rock Park's original proposed mountain circuit. On with the racing. All right, so I just did qualifying for race one, messed up my third lap once again, but uh, this is my second, one minute 30.7, which is going to define my starting position for the first race. It should be round about the end of the top 10, considering what I've seen other guys doing. But I'm looking forward to seeing how this round goes, because Laguna Seca is not a track I particularly like. It's not a track I've had the best luck at in the past. There has been a change, though, to the Audi RS3 transmission uh, updates. The way the sequential, or the DSG transmission, rather, the way it matches revs and blips the throttle on downshifts has been changed. So it kicks into gear a little bit better on the downshifts, makes you uh, have a bit of an easier time in the braking zones. We'll see if I get as far as turn one, because uh, it's, it's a bit of a tight track, this one, and I feel full of angry TCRs. Well, I've already been here once before in TCR, so I should expect more of the same. Okie dokes, 10th place start for race one. <sighs> Stress is starting to build. Oh, that's a jump start. Green flag, green flag. Oh, that's a good start from Jacob. And on the outside, coming into turn one, that's not always the best place to be. There. Righto, got the inside for this one. Alright, good, good, good. Easy. So, got through turn one okay. Wasn't quite expecting to. Gotta be careful on the brakes on these cold tires. Car's very twitchy. Might actually wind the brake bias forward a couple of clicks. Corkscrew, corkscrew. Very scary on gold tires. Oh, hello. That is a problem there for one of the Prologue React guys. Is that a slowdown for Dominic? Might have been. Just got to stay in contact with this front pack. Oh, successful lap one, I think. Let's wait for the positions to update over the start-finish line, see where I've gotten up to. Seventh. Not bad. Okay. Good run here. I don't feel like I'm confident enough to try and put a move into the corkscrew. Tell you what, Marty is... Uh, Pretty close to me in terms of pace here. I feel like I can get him if I'm just careful enough. Just something that I haven't been able to do <laughs> in races so far. I've always ended up making a stupid mistake. 
Well, not today. I'm going to try and keep it on the straight and narrow. Oh, hello. Right side. Up the inside. Leave him a little bit of room there. Still there. No, that's not going to work out well for me. <sighs> Just didn't have enough room to make the turn properly. I'm getting the run on him, though. I am faster. Got to worry about Nathan, too. He's looking mighty quick. Okay, well he's got Dominic for company now. We'll let them sort themselves out. Oh, hello. Is that Scotty out in the gravel? Potential position. I end up losing some ground to Martin over the last lap or so. Alright, get it slowed down. Should only have a couple of laps to go when we cross the line. So I'm running out of opportunities here. Here we go. Yes, please. Just got to get this right. Early. Hit the curb. Nice run. Okay. I need to do that every lap from now on. Chances of that happening. Close to nil. Got a chance here versus Martin. Getting sweaty now. <sighs> what flag? What flag? Okay, here we go. Eh, a bit of an off track for good measure, but oh, starting to get a bit tardy. Final lap then. Thirty point five. If only that was legal. Alright, good mid corner in turn one. Nail this. That was alright. Nail this. That wasn't the greatest. Oh. Scotty's gonna have another go here at the end of this lap. Oh. Breathe. Lost a tenth or two through there. No run up the hill. Gently does it. Damn it. You have about two left of fuel left. Tires feel like they've just gotten past their best here. Ah oh well, that's that. Oh, here we go. Copy it's up. on at the final turn. Not quite able to take advantage. I was a little too far back. <sighs> Damn it. Ah, oh, well. From 10th to 7th, I'll take oh, that for it. race one. Damn. All right, there's the chicken flag. Wait, if I bug down at the start, you have to edit it out of your YouTube video. That is not going to happen. <laughs> green flag, green flag. That was an incredible start from the Eclipse, guys. In fact, an incredible start from most people behind me. On the right, three wide. This is not good. <laughs> left, two wide. Left side, two wide. Still hold. Left side, two wide. 
Yeah. Got on the throttle a bit too hard. All right. I think it's going to be a certainty that I am pitting at the end of lap one. I want to get out of all of this. Bloody hell. Might as well just lose the minimum amount of time possible. Damn it, if I hadn't been too greedy on the throttle in turn two. Alright, I'm just going to make my way past there. Gentle, gentle. Oh, that's a good run. That is a very good run, but I'm not going to take advantage of that, because not much of a straight up to the corkscrew, and that can really mess you up. Yeah, I need some clear air. This is not working, or it's not going to work for the next few laps. So into the pits I come. Cool. <sighs> that was Mr. Sweeney, who I followed in. Alright, let's just double check. Double check, no fuel, two tires. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Damn, I've been here for a bit. Nearly 30 clear, seconds. Market. Wow, I really lost out on that. Jesus. I must not have been inch perfect in the box. That's a very big time penalty. Anyway. All I can do is consolidate myself from here. Time for some clear air running. You got a slow car on the right. Go right. Oh boy. Oh, damn, Jacob! Uh, race control? Still That's there. a shame. Not going up. Oh. Okay. So, race control having a look at that. I wonder who tapped him off. Okay, so. Rob Carmichael has come out in front of me. He'll still be getting his tyres up to temperature. There is Mr. Jerick. Coming out of the pits. Not quite close enough to make a move. Oh no, it was Mitch Martin. Sorry, not Ryan Jerick. My mistake. The heat of the moment can uh, really mess up your memory and your observational skills. See how I go here versus Rob. We had a good fight at Lime Rock. Oh, that's a bad run for him. Right side. Okay, I've got a good enough run here. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. There we go. Car on your left. Oh, and of course I've given the run Clear right to back the right. to him. Oh no, he's backing Clear out of it. Left. Gentle, gentle. Move complete. Beautiful. Darren Whittington up next. And it looks like uh, I'll be getting up to him very, very soon. Especially if he keeps doing stuff like that. Alright, come on. Is he going to try and go defensive? Right side. There we go. Clear. Move done. Just struggling a bit with understeer now. I did take a bit of a chance pitting on lap one. Who knows, my tyres might not have anything at the end, but... I reckon it was worth a worth a shot with how much traffic I had. Okie dokie dokie dokes. So it looks like uh, 
Lady Luck was not on my side with that pit stop. I've ended up fighting for positions just outside the top 10 here. There's a big defensey boy. See how this goes. I do have pace over Ashley. Hopefully this ends up being a battle within the top 10 in the last couple of laps, which should be coming up pretty soon. Oh, that's a nice arc. Very nice arc. Eh, it wasn't as clean as it could have been that one, but all good. We're still keeping pace, which is good to see. Okay. Oh, it's a run up. Damn it. <laughs> Not enough space to try and make the move. Nothing to stop me from giving him a little look, though. Alright. According to my calculations, this should be the second last lap. I haven't got much time left to get back by Ashley here. Secure myself 11th. Ugh, that was a bit aggressive for me. I can just see that I've got to run on him through these fast corners. Oh, am I brave enough? Poking it up the inside, he's giving me room. Oh, I couldn't get it done. You've got about two left. <sighs> just needed to commit a little bit harder. Got to run again. Right oh. Still there, hold your line. Ugh. All right, I wasn't entirely sure whether or not I was going to do that, but I did it. <laughs> now I got him right on my tail. Please let it be the last lap. Last lap. Yes, there we go. Well. It doesn't look like I've got much of a chance of advancing any further. But 11th... Oh no, wait. Huh, okay. I am in the top 10. And this little display is not going to help me. <sighs> At least I'm staying ahead of Ashley. Oh, what could have been, eh? Certainly. If it weren't for pit stop RNG, I might have been top five. Probably would have been a repeat of Okayama. You have about one lap of fuel left. Well, that's all I'm going to need. We've only got half a lap to go. Just got to nail this one last time. Oh, thank God I don't have to drive through that left-hander anymore after this. Nice and easy through the corkscrew. Oh, well, I... No. Guys are lapped down. No position for me. And there we go. <laughs> Just one more turn. And that is... Decidedly mediocre for me. I expected better for sure. But... On the positive side, at least I finished both races. Might want to not sit on the apex there. Check it flag, check it flag. And I wasn't involved in okay, too many incidents to like I was before. So, yeah, I'm feeling a bit underwhelmed by that. If I'd pulled up at the stop a bit better, I would surely have been fighting for a top six. And who knows, might have been even better were it not for my start in race two. 
On the bright side, my championship position has not gotten worse. I still sit in seventh as we head to Australia for the final two rounds. Bathurst is next, and if I can keep it out of the wall in a race of attrition, that would be some valuable points. Is top five still possible? We'll see. Subscribe for more bad pit stops.